If you're working for BP and you're contributing pre-tax to your ASP and you're not also taking advantage of the mega backdoor Roth, you're missing out. One of the things we'll talk about today is how to do the mega backdoor Roth and what it means for you and your future retirement goals. So for 2024, the total amount that those under age 50 can contribute to a 401k or for BP, the ESP, is $69,000. And this is really what we use to help back into how much you can contribute to the after-tax bucket in the ESP, which then leads to the mega backdoor Roth. So this year, BP contributes 7%. The most they'll put in your ESP is $24,150, which is great. You, as somebody who's under the age of 50, can contribute $23,000 to pre-tax. You get that nice tax deduction. It's great. That's priority number one. After tax comes as priority number two. So if we back into how much you can contribute, that's $21,850. So potentially a lot of savings that you're missing out on doing, and this will be a great add-on to what you're already doing in your ESP. This kind of just shows you how everything stacks on each other. One of the things you'll want to make sure of is at the beginning of the year, you adjust your contribution percentages. After bonuses, shares payout, make sure to revisit that and change any of the contribution percentages so that you're contributing throughout the entire year so you get the full BP match and to make sure you don't max out too quickly. Otherwise, again, we miss out on the match. So the way it works, let's say you've gotten through the whole year, you've done the full after-tax contribution, what do we do now? We'll call Fidelity, we'll ask them to roll out the after-tax to your outside Roth IRA. This is not to the Roth 401k, it's to your Roth. And the reason that we do that is because if you leave it in the ESP, any of the growth is eventually taxable. And it'll be taxable at your ordinary income rate. If you roll it out to Roth, everything it grows to is tax-free. Withdrawals are tax-free, growth is tax-free. You can also pass Roth on to kids and use it kind of as a legacy asset, which will also be tax-free. So a lot of people ask me, okay, what is the difference between the Roth and a taxable account? We've kind of gone through a little bit of this, but really want to bring it home. Taxable accounts are really important, and I do think it's important to have different buckets of funds to pull from in retirement, like a taxable account, a 401k or an ESP, and a Roth. So this isn't to say that you shouldn't utilize taxable accounts, it's just showing why a mega backdoor Roth is so useful. Taxable accounts, interest, dividends, and capital gains are taxed as, as they occur. And then Roth accounts, everything is tax-free, even the distributions, even passing it on as a legacy account. So it can definitely help you achieve your goals for financial independence very quickly. If you want to learn more, please watch our on-demand webinar. You can also follow us on LinkedIn or even reach out and schedule a complimentary meeting. We'd love to meet with you.